Are you ready, people? I can't hear you. Oh, I'm not gonna do the rest of the song because I don't want to get copyright. So, what's going on, YouTube? It's me, Jeffrey, again. Today, we are doing a review on the Bendy Figs SpongeBob SquarePants bendable figurine of uh, SpongeBob himself. So, yeah, let's get to this review, shall we? Now, the box, it's got SpongeBob on, you know, the artwork. And Spon here's SpongeBob, and he comes with. I think he comes. Yeah, he comes with a blue stand that's behind him. It's made by a. Ben it's made by the brand Bendy Figs, by by the Noble Collection Toys. And his accessory is a jellyfish net. You can see over here it describes that you can bend the arms and the legs. And you know, name. And as for the back. He's, um, on the back you see Spongebob with the net, and it's, this says Series 1, collect them all, like, explore the world of Benny Figs, and the Wave 1 of these the Spongebob bendables are Spongebob, Patrick, Sandy, and Squidward. have a character like, let's say, um, uh, Mr. Krabs, Plankton, uh, Pearl, Mrs. Puff, Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy, the Fred, my leg guy, you know that, that fish that says, my leg, um, yeah, that'd be pretty funny, um, or maybe it would be pretty cool if they made someone like, let's say, uh, Bubble Bass or Flats of Flounder, so anyways, I'm gonna, so I can get them out of the box and put them on my review stand. Okay, so now I've got our poorest friend out of his box. Let's take a look at what he comes with. So as we bring over here, he comes with this blue display stand with these pegs that, that key into the bottom of his feet, of his shoes. And he comes with a jellyfishing net. I think it would have been pretty cool to add like an extra accessory, like maybe a jellyfish itself. But I could probably make one of those myself. So the, let's start with this stand. It says on the bottom, Bendy Figs, you know, all that licensing stuff, the Noble Collection toys, all that stuff. The jellyfish net is a uh, one solid plastic piece. We have what appears to be like detail on this net itself. And it fits in uh, this hand. And as for SpongeBob, he looks pretty nice. Like, I think they actually got the paint applications really good. Like, like when you think of Bendy figurines, you always think of them as like a big rubber, um, rubberish plastic bendable toy. Now this Spongebob here roughly measures at about 4 inches tall, which coincidentally is Spongebob's canonical height, so that's a coincidence right there. So, he's got everything, he's got the eyelashes, the, um, the holes in his, you know, sponginess, um, he's got the dimples on his cheeks, he's got the, uh, Hi, the uh, these now please note that um, these these four pieces of his belt are painted in, but on the sides, the sides they're not, but on the back they are, which is really strange. He got his tie, his collar, and shirt, sleeves, square pants. Um, yeah, he's got socks, which have the correct pattern for his, like, stripes, I think. The blue go on top and red on the bottom. And his shoes are black, obviously. And I think this is the most definitive, like, four-inch Spongebob figure. If you, unless you're getting the, the six-and-a-half-inch Super 7 Ultimate Spongebob figure. Now, I was originally gonna get the Super 7 Spongebob Ultimate figure. I thought, um, 
one, that is, like, what, $70, like, and two, yeah, it's new, but I'd rather wait for Christmas to get that, because that's more of, like, a collectibles item, while this is just more like an average toy. So, you, if you were to see them on a 360 scale measure, well, not scale measure, but, like, a rotator, it kind of looks like this, like, you have full 360 of the sponge. So... Like I said, this is a bendable, so he has bendable wires, like, in his arms and legs. I don't know if I could do this one, one thing, like, one-handed, so I'm just gonna try doing this. Just, yeah, just, it's just a demonstration right there. Found this guy on Amazon for about $20. But it could vary depending where you get it. Overall, it's pretty good. And to, lock, to key him into the the stand, you just do um yeah. This it's in the it's in the heel part of the shoes. So yeah, this isn't the fair. This isn't the first um Betty Figs um toy that I've got because I actually have a Shrek. I have a Bendy Fix Shrek that I might review sometime in the future. Because, you know, Shrek is awesome. I'll just cut the camera. Overall, I rate this bendable figurine of SpongeBob a solid, um, an eight and a half. Because the only two flaws I see in this guy is that, um, the sides of his buckles aren't, you know, his belt aren't painted in. And... He has a little bit of trouble holding his net, but this is the closest I could do. Um, another thing I would like to point out about this guy is, like, this is not hollow. This is a solid piece. So, I do not recommend throwing this, this guy at anything fragile or something big. I don't recommend you do that. In fact, I don't recommend you throw this at anyone in the head because... These parts are a little bit pointy. They could hurt someone, so yeah. If you were to compare him to other action figures, that'd be um, something like, let's say, I mean, look, he's even bigger than, he's even bigger than Mario. Goodness. Like, I, I, I think this guy's about four inches tall exact, but with the stand, he's a little taller looking. So, yeah. Will I get the Fendi figs of Patrick, Sandy, and Squidward in the future, as well as the, the Super 7 Ultimates of each character in the future? Most definitely, yes. Because I'm actually curious to compare on which one would be better for the better buy and the better scaling, and, you know, in general. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed my, uh, my review of the Fendi figs, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next time. This is Jeffrey Zanabrowski, and I'm out of here.